Hi guys, it's Legionero. Welcome back to my channel and I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. Today I want to do a demo and I want to do a demo on um, this tool or these tools right here. Um, I got them off of Amazon. Um, actually, my mom bought them for me off of Amazon and they is the a Sasher tool and it's uh, looking at the description on Amazon uh, it says multi sizes jelly roll sasher so um, be used in quilting can be used in sewing and I'm going to use it to make my to help make my straps for my handbags and so um, so there's actually two sets of these. I just took one set and I put them on the little ring that came with it. It also came with um, a set of pins. Um, I think I showed this in a haul video last year because I got them in 2020. <laughs> but yeah, there are two sets of these and two of these rings. So I just um, separated each set and put them on the different rings. And it has different sizes. It goes from an eighth of an inch all the way up to two and a half inches all right so i'm going to demo how to use this and make um some scraps i'm um, scraps straps <laughs> well i guess i said scrap because this is a scrap piece of fabric <laughs> so you'll need the um this sasher tool and whatever size that you're trying to make um, i have a little my little cricut mini um, press here you can use an iron I have my pad here um, just to iron on and I also have some one inch tools so when I finish I want to uh -oh, I want to test and make sure that um, the strap actually fits through my one inch tools so um, for one inches whenever I'm using one inch tools like d-rings uh, swivel clasp different things like that i make sure i cut my fabric width at four inches all right so whatever your hardware is you want to multiply that by four so if your hardware is one and a half i do believe you would cut it at six inches wide so that's why i always um cut you see in my videos i always cut my uh, straps and strap tabs at four by whatever the length is all right so just gonna let my mini press heat up and I'm going to be using I believe the two inch one first and then I'm going to use the one inch all right so Let's see how this works. I'm going to um, change the camera view so you all can see what I'm doing. All right. So <clears throat> I have my scrap piece of fabric here. So I'm just going to press it a little bit. And I'm going to press it in half. And I'm just pressing it in half to get that crease that we need in the middle. And then I'm going to fold one side. And I'm just going to press just a little bit to press that corner down. And do the same thing on this side. Press it towards the crease and just press a little bit just to kind of hold this down. I'm also going to grab a pin. To um, hold this strap in place so it doesn't move. I'm trying to figure out the best way to turn the fabric because I'm right handed. So I'll be using the mini press with my right hand so 
So I'm just going to take a pin and pin that down so it doesn't shift. Alright, so now I'm going to take my tool, I'm going to find the one inch, I mean not the one inch, the two inch, here we go, and I might need to take this off. Right, and place my strap in between. And full disclosure, this is my first time doing this. I didn't practice before the video. So, <laughs> so I could be doing this completely wrong. All right. So, all right. So, I have it on. Right. Ah, so I think I'm going to go through the top here. And then take it through the other side kind of like you do when you're making straps with a strap slider and I know what you're thinking I'm going to tell you what you're thinking um, soon <laughs> all right so I have it on here just like you would place it on a strap slider and you just slide this and you press okay Okay, okay, I see. So again, I didn't practice this beforehand, so this is why I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> All right, so that's my two inch. Um, and again, my entire um, scrap was four inches. And then when I fold it in half, it then becomes two inches. That's why I use the two inch one. So now I'm getting ready to grab the one inch. And I'm going to fold this in half. Right? Because that's how we complete our strap. And I'm going to go over the top. And then through the bottom one. And do the same thing. Place that pin back there so it doesn't slide. And just press and slide this out of the way. Super neat, guys. All right. So that's that. So now I'm just going to take my one inch um, D ring and see if it fits. And it does, it fits perfectly. Alright, here's my one inch swivel clasp. It fits. And my one inch strap slider. Alright, and it fits. So once you get this ironed, pressed and iron, you will take it to the sewing machine and you will sew down both sides to complete your strap. All right, guys, so that is the quick demo of this Sasher tool. And again, I'm not a quilter, so I'm not sure how it will be used in quilting. Um, <laughs> maybe the same way. I don't know. Um, and I know what you're thinking. You're probably like, you don't need that tool to do your straps. But, you know, we like sewing tools around here. So we get them. We try them out. We see if we like them, you know, that type thing. I do think for longer straps, like the um, crossbody straps, which are like 55 inches, th this might be a good tool to kind of keep that strap in place. Because I know a lot of times I'm ironing, then I'm pulling up, ironing, pulling up. Um, so this might actually be a great tool for the longer um, adjustable 
crossbody straps. But anyway, yeah, I use the two inch and I use the one inch. They, the sizes, I'm not sure if I told you at the beginning, um, go from one eighth to two and a half inches. And I will link this in the description box below for you guys, just in case you're interested. And again, it fits, one inch fits perfectly. Get it on here. Yeah. It's perfectly. So, all right, guys. Thank you for um, coming along with me on this demo. I do appreciate it. Um, if you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And I'll see you in the next one.